Callum Howe. Taken down beautifully that. Hudlin waiting in the box. Michael has made his way to the edge of the area and Hudlin, it was too high for him. And a good defensive header that by Mandeville. It needed to be as well. Left by Grimes. The clearance by Loach. Dallas. Maycock. Barnett is wide. He loves to get on the ball in these sort of positions. The number 11. And he stood up a good cross towards Hudlin! Good save by Loach. That's just the sort of service that Hudlin thrives on, though. Great play again, Adam, by Barnett. Yeah, brilliant play down the right-hand side. You said good save, I have to say great save from Scott Loach because it really is magnificent because all of the advantage is with Carl Hudlin because he jumps early and he can generate the power. Williams, who is a former Solly Hull player. King with a great ball for Mandeville, who's put it across quickly! What a lovely move that is from Chesterfield! And a confident finish from Quigley. The man restored to the starting lineup today. Storer. Maycock. Clark. Barnett to wriggle away, Barnett with a lovely pass, and Maycock! Oh, and it's just wide. What a response that would have been from Dallas. Yeah, good, good, good response. The quick interplay that we see from Solihull Moors time and time again, Barnett. Brilliant way to wriggle and try and create himself a bit of space. It kind of came quite quick there to Dallas making the run. To Khan, kind of run from Whelan to the edge of the box, Khan drifts inside! And it came out to Miller! Goalkeeper McDonald's done well again there. Two good stops in the space of a few seconds. Set pieces have been so important in the playoffs so far. We saw that yesterday at the race course. As Adam just mentions, Chesterfield uh, got their opener on Tuesday night from a corner, scored the header by Danny Rowe. Sabara, Hudlin, Stora. Maycock, look at the run here down the left from Boyce. Maycock goes inside, Dallas! Solly Hull on terms! Didn't take them long, did it? And it's their top scorer, their talisman, Andy Dallas, who's made it 1 1. We talk about the importance of Joe McDonald at 1 in making two crucial saves, and all of a sudden, from a set play, from a corner, they go up the other end and find themselves a goal. It's a brilliant counter-attacking goal yet again. And it really starts with the run of Maycock there. It picks up a really good position. Now look at Dallas, he's just pointing in the direction to put it in there for me. Times it perfectly. Scott Loach comes off his line and tries to make himself as big as possible. But it's a perfectly weighted ball there from Maycock to Dallas. And you have to say, since conceding the goal, they've shown signs of promise. And they've got themselves the equaliser. And what a second half to the season he's had, Dallas. His 19 league goals in the regular campaign. Well, 16 of them came since the 22nd of January. It's the way teams deal with pressure, it's the way the game management happens in these tight situations. It's how it affects you, and a good side won't let it affect them. Hudlin, and Dallas is in again! Hudlin! What a chance to put them in front. Well, it could have been either one of them. We spoke about the line that they're keeping. It's got to be right when you're sat high up the pitch. Never really looked confident, did he, when he went through. A signal from Sabara. It's a great delivery there, and they struggle to get it clear, and it's turned home. It's one of the centre-halves. Goodger was in there for Solihull, who turned this around. From 1-0 down to 2-1 up. Well, another goal from another set plate. And his side have turned it around absolutely brilliantly. See Khan trying to stop the cross that comes in there, because they move it off the corner spot there, but I'm not too sure how much Hudlin would know about this. 
because Grimes is marking him tightly. And then it just falls in the right place at the right time for Goodger to come in there. It comes off the back of Hudlin naturally. And then Goodger just reacts to it. You can see the space, it's a determination to get forward. He's, he is onside. Well, today will mean a lot to Goodger because he was part of the side, Adam, that you remember we were there for the game in 2019 when they lost that semi-final here to Files. It's a great run from him. Lovely back heel, Stora. So nicely done that by Solihull. Barnett held up by Whelan. Foul by Whelan, free kick Solihull. Stora, Sabara, Boyce. Nice turn inside by Boyce. Sabara. Well, it was on the shot. And again, it's lovely football by Solihull. Yeah, you can see what he was just trying to do there, Joe Sabara. Just trying to get that quick touch out of his feet and then whip it to the right hand side of the goal. Just creates himself that little bit of space, but couldn't quite execute the shot there. But again, the pace at Solihull are just really counter attacking at and getting numbers forward as well. Chesterfield with a chance perhaps to hit back before the break. Played into the feet of Khan. He sends it in, it's a great ball! And they're struggling to get it clear, and it's off the line! Appeals for handball there from the Chesterfield fans who had a good view of that. Oh, this is really loud appeals. You can see the players as well getting around the referee, Tom Kirk find himself an equaliser, but this is what the Chesterfield fans behind the goal are unhappy about. That's a brilliant ball in there. Mighty's coached a long time in the Football League, Neil Ardley. Oh, here's Miller, the mistake. Can Miller make the most of it? Good save. Good stop that by McDonald. It's a comfortable height for him to make the save. It's a real warning that though to Solly Hull who lead, but it is a fragile lead. And we know how quickly things can turn in the playoffs. It's not enough on that, and Hudlin's away. Khan's chasing it. Hudlin looking for support, goes alone. Good save by Loach. Chances at either end. Yeah, good save there, Scott Loach. What he does well, Adam, he just comes straight off his line and closes the angle down. So providing it doesn't go through his legs. He's made a really, really important save after a mistake there from Khan that allowed Hutlin to go through. And it goes from Boys. Sloach stays on his line. He couldn't keep it out though. What a header that is. And now the other centre half has scored. First gotcha, now how? 3 1 Solihull. We've been treated to some great headers in the playoffs, Adam, but this, by far, is the best one out of the bunch. Because the way that he has to generate his own power at the far post area, to jump it away from goal as well. It's Williams on him, and he just muscles him off there. And he goes back across goal. The timing of the header was absolutely important for Callum Howe, and the timing of the goal for Solihull Moors is even more vital. His fourth goal of the season, and they've all come since early March. ...and everything, and that sets your standards week in, week out, and I think has a major effect. When you see teams struggling, you do look at the training sometimes. A chance for another one here, which Newton couldn't take. Out came Loach. Good save by the Chesterfield keeper, he's probably kept them in within any hope of turning this around there. Just a few times in this game, they've kept a high line, Chesterfield, which has been brave. Didn't make it, which was completely understandable. Miller, looking to get away from Clark. Well-timed challenge from Howe, had to get that right. Yeah, Celebrating that tackle like Bonucci and Chiellini used to celebrate together. 
eliminator on Tuesday, Miller. And they dig deep here, the Spyrites, quickly with Denton in the box, quickly's done well. Miller! Good save by McDonnell. Laycock doing the chasing. It's Grimes again, and there's the final whistle, and Solly Hull have done it through to the promotion final. Neil Artley embracing his assistants. The dream is over for Chesterfield. It will be a fifth season running in the fifth tier for them. But Solly Hull can keep on dreaming. Their top scorer, Dallas, with one of the goals. The two centre-halves, Gudger and Howe, got the others. What an achievement this is for Solly Hull. One of the surprise packages, really, in the National League this season. And they will play at London Stadium a week today for a place in the Football League, Adam Virgo. When you look at the results throughout these playoffs, Adam, I think it's the right two teams on performances that deserve to be in that final at the London Stadium. Amazing scenes here, and it's just a continuation of the fine job that Neil Ardley has done, and this team has galvanised themselves to really push themselves with goals, but the defensive commitment as well from Howell and Goodger at the back were absolutely brilliant from them.